Today, we're going to take a look at the Scala U camera. First off, let's look at the design. This thing is super small. Here is the USB-C cable and a USB power brick. Yeah, it's super small. I usually like the U5 2K camera, but this thing is even smaller and even better. When you open the box, this is all you get. The camera is attached to the, uh, the base, but for my own use, I detach it from the base and threw the base away. In the back of the camera is a USB-C. There's a microphone and a speaker as well. The base, you can hang it on the wall or even the ceiling. That's not an issue. On the side, there's a micro USB card slot. Luckily, this thing has RTSB as well as OnViv, so it works with the NVR as well. That's why I'm not going to use any micro SD card because I'm going to connect this thing to my NVR. Best feature about this camera is that you can block it from the internet and it'll work just as fine. And if, for whatever reason, the camera needs to be rebooted or you need to power down and then plug it back in, it still works fine. That's not the case with other cameras, such as U5. For instance, if you block U5 from the internet and then the camera loses power, when the U5 camera starts back on, it will not work without internet. That's crazy. I'm happy to say that there's no issue with this Galileo camera at all. I bought this camera to be used in the kids' room. It's connected to Home Assistant for Frigate AI Person Detection. That way, when the AI thinks that there's nobody in a room, it will automatically turn off the lights, turn off all of the electronics to save some power. Knowing my kids, they never turn off anything. And yeah, if you're using this in bedrooms like I am, it is highly recommended that you block this thing from ever getting online. This is the view using the Amcrest camera for comparison. This is a very old camera and it's 1080p. And here's the same room using the Galileo camera. Clearly, this camera at 2K is much, much better at nighttime. Let's take a look at the day view with the Amcrest camera. It's very blocky, pixelated, as you can see. And here's the same view from the 2K camera. Much, much better. It's not crazy sharp as a 4K camera, but it is certainly impressive for something so small. In order to add a camera into your network, you need to download this OneView Cloud app. If this is your first time using the app, you'll want to add an account, so go ahead and sign up. In the upper right-hand corner, go ahead and click on the plus icon and follow along with the instruction on how to add it to your network. It is relatively simple, so I'm not going to cover it here. After adding the device in, this is what you will see. What we really want is the local application. Take a look at RTSP and click on Save. With this information, now you can use the RTSP link to use in your MVR or frigate with Home Assistant. If for whatever reason, when you feed it into VLC or your NVR and it doesn't work, go ahead and restart the camera and it will work. Trust me. I don't know why it didn't work for me and I went crazy trying to figure it out. But as soon as I did a reboot by unplugging it from the wall and plug it back in, it works beautifully. Now, would I use this to install for people, for clients? Absolutely not. Why? Because sometimes people equate size with quality, and this thing is just too small. Myself, or for people who want something inconspicuous, this camera is it. It is so small, you can hide it anywhere, camouflage it if you need to, like putting it on a bookshelf surrounded by books and nobody would notice. It's perfect. All right, hopefully you found this camera helpful for you to be used with Home Assistant and Frigate. I really appreciate you guys subscribe to my channel, liking this video, and thanks for watching.